everyone welcome back to those of you coming back and nice to meet you if you're new i have a really fun dollar tree haul most of the things are either new or i've never purchased them but they've been out for a while or i needed them but i've not really purchased them in a while so i'm very excited to show you all my finds and even some, some of my ideas as to why i purchased the items so Let's get started. Okay, so first I would like to introduce you to two of my friends. And then so I found these cute little plushies of Peppa Pig. And I think his name is George. Yeah, it says George right there. George. I think these are so cute. Let's fix our skirt. There we go so cute and since i'm going to start a children's channel i thought they could join me while we did crafts together so that's papa here's george george might need a little more balance there we go okay so peppa and george you know they might be making entrances every now and then so let's welcome them to the channel okay now let's start the whole haul okay i have been cleaning and i buy a lot of wipes i feel like it's really easy to clean and it already has you know product on it so i don't have to buy products separately it'll, be, it'll probably be cheaper to just buy paper towels but i feel like i get a better clean with these so i usually buy the green one which is like a fresh scent until I found this one and it's a lavender scent and y'all yeah. I'm gonna open it and smell it again and yeah it literally smells like a dupe to Fabuloso so if you like Fabuloso the purple one and you like the lavender I recommend this one but if you're more of a fresh scent person let me grab the other one which I have right here then I recommend this one they also have a lime, a lemon scent, but lemon cleaners, le lemon scented cleaners just kind of make me nauseous. I don't know if it's the citrusy scent or the strength of it, but I just cannot do it. So I like to either do like a fresh scent or a lavender scent or even like a fruity scent. So I'm very excited to try these. Um, they both say they have 30 and this one is my last bottle of this scent and then I bought two of these so yeah i'm very excited to use them in my cleaning and scents actually motivate you to you know clean so hopefully and it says it cleans covid it says kills covid kills 99.9 percent .9 of bacteria in 15 seconds so probably as long as singing the, the happy birthday song clean and disinfect household surfaces it says kills E. coli, salmonella, and disinfects. So, doesn't hurt. I don't know if it's 100% true, but at least they'll disinfect, which is what I am looking for. So, I'm going to put this aside, okay? And on to the next items, okay? I guess I'm going to do home items so I can just get those out of the way. I literally went to an eye doctor appointment yesterday. And he's like, you need eye drops. Well, the kind of eye drops I need are lubricated, lubricated eye drops. They can be a little pricey. Not expensive, expensive, but on the pricey side. So I was like, oh, I'm going to have to buy eye drops. I don't really want to do that. And I kind of like had it in my cart at Walmart. And I was like, okay, I'm going to go to Dollar Tree. And then afterwards, I'll place the order. And then I found this. It's technically for red eyes, but it has the ingredient that I need, which is the eye lubricant, lubricated eye drops. So I was very excited to see this. It's the advanced version. So I think it has a little bit more. So I was really excited to, let me see if I can actually get a focus. But I, I was actually really excited to give this a try and see if it helps my eyes. If it's not for me, I'm sure Isabella will like it since she spends time on the screen so 
eye drops were the first thing I got. The second thing was that this was actually for Isabella because she changes keychains every now and then. And I saw this and she likes shaker cards, things like that. So when I saw this little shaker keychain, literally, I was floored. This was so pretty. But look at the backing. I can use that for junk journaling. Like the word good vibes and the floral. I'm just thinking. But the keychain itself is so darling. It feels kind of like it's kind of like inflated with like air. Like, it's like a little balloon. So I, I don't know how sturdy it will be. But definitely a cute summer find. So I, I got it for her. I told her, let me hold on to it for this video and I'll give it to you. So I'll give it to her shortly after. And then up next, I purchased a tape measure. I needed one. So I purchased it. And I thought I had seen it, but I wasn't 100% sure if they had it. So when I went and actually found it, I was like, yes. So I needed to measure a couple areas in the house because of, you know, buying furniture, getting rid of furniture, all that. So I usually like having those because they have this lock thing where you lock it and then you can open it and actually keep it open. So, and then once you're done, you just open it and it goes in. Although tip, if this is really open, like super big, do not let it go without holding it because this has had many fun moments with me where it just flops around and hits your finger and this is a metal like little claw thing so it can easily nip at your finger especially if you have kids probably make sure it's locked and just keep it out of reach because um they don't really need that they can easily j just use a ruler so definitely a nice find and then after that i went to the party section and for my orders i sometimes like to use paper shreds so i just got one bag just to keep in the house while i organize and all that and then since i've been using um wax scents lately i needed cotton balls to once the scent has fully finished I, I want to be able to you know put a few cotton balls and have the wax be, be absorbed and then i can just toss it i've been using napkins lately and that's just mess i've heard that this is way easier so i'm excited to give that a try and i will be purchasing some wax scents from dollar tree so i am in my next video i might um talk about it so there's that and then i needed some ibuprofen but i honestly didn't want to buy it some elsewhere because i was right there so i just bought some and actually took some last night because i have a cavity in my molar molar i think it's called and i need a root canal i think that's how you say it so i'm literally waiting for my insurance to change so i can see the dentist and actually schedule it and get it done which that's a whole other thing but um uh every now and then it's been very sensitive with hot or cold, so every now and then it triggers a sharp pain, horrible pain. So I take ibuprofen and I have some aura gel. So last night I actually just took ibuprofen and I gave it like an hour and it worked shortly after. I didn't need to use the aura gel, which was actually kind of nice, but it works. The ibuprofen works. So if you want to buy something from um dollar tree and you're not sure if it'll work at least the painkillers do work i've purchased them before okay and then self-care what well no there's one more item and then for i needed molds for my wax scents, but i couldn't really find any that i liked so sometimes what i like to do is get these baking cups and i just put them in there let it dry and then and then i just peel it off throw it away and just use the cupcake mold of it and just put it in a container so these are disposable they're probably not even meant for this but i use them i'm like they're technically heat resistant since they're baking wise so it's just what i'm doing it works so that's what i'm doing okay and then let's see i have a lot of items so i don't even know if I'm gonna have to divide this haul hopefully not so next item is going to be 
tweezers. I needed tweezers and Ioni, I think it's Ioni, yeah. Ioni came out with these. I've never purchased um, tweezers from them. So editing me will let you know if they're good. I'm using this for myself, but I have heard that some people do use tweezers in crafting. I'm just not really good at precise picking because of my hand tremors as you can literally see this item is shaking so i purchased that and i'm excited to start giving a try to the ioni brand i've been hearing a lot of people rave about it so yeah i am down for trying it and then right next to that i i, I bought isabella some nail files because she likes to get her nails done and all that i do not but every now and then like i'll, I'll have like a nail that breaks so i'll use it but then she also needs them so it's a four pack and this metal ones i feel like last forever compared to the paper ones or the little like sandpapery ones so i just purchased these i'll give you i'll be giving them a try and let you know if they actually work or if they're tossed so there's that and then i also bought some masking tape because i will be doing some crafts and one of my pet peeves is when i need something to be still and it slides around pet peeve of mine so i bought some masking tape it a slow residue so, so it's not going to leave a sticky residue on the table or on a piece of paper i feel like it's more gentle so i just got one for crafting and then i bought some soap i bought this gold antibacterial dial um, body soap, bar soap, and then I bought a little container to put the bar soap in. The main reason why is because it's summertime and your bodies are sweating, so I feel like I need an extra wash. So sometimes I like to do the antibacterial first and then rinse and then use my regular body wash just to kill any bacteria, sweat, anything like that. It, it just makes you feel extra clean so i purchased that and then last like care, beauty care I, items i bought a hair styling scissors just to trim my ends if i needed because y'all here just to get a curly hair trim you know the tips and trimmed they're charging me 80 dollars. so ridiculous i'm gonna learn how to do it myself and then, and it's going to be bubble wrap, same thing as the um, paper shreds. I just use this for making sure things are secure if I'm sending something very sensitive or delicate or fragile. So, putting that there. And then, I think the other items are, are going to be crafting related, except this one last item. It's a food item. Apparently, Isabella loves these. I saw some little rolls. And I thought they were mini cinnamon rolls. So I went back to the store and I asked her, I'm like, would you like mini cinnamon rolls? And she's like, yeah. So I went to the store and they were actual pecan rolls. She does not like pecan. I do. I might get them in the future for me. But I was like, okay, I don't want to leave it empty handed and not get her anything. Well, she's a lover of chocolate and peanut butter. For me, that is just not a good combo. I'd rather do like the fruit and dark chocolate kind of thing. Or even just chocolate i do not like peanut butter and chocolate i just don't like the mix but anywho i found these buddy bars and i have not opened it but apparently isabella loves these so i hit the marker with that and she's very happy and excited to try these so and it's a freaking eight count i mean yes Technically, it's four pack and there's two each. But the fact that there's eight in here, I honestly thought it was just going to be four. But that's amazing. So e even if she just wants to eat one, she'll, she, she can save the other one for later. Or if she eats both as like a lunchy snack, she can do that as well. And I want to know. And it doesn't actually have a, a lot of sugar. The sugar here is just 10 grams. Which of course is not like less but it's still less than like a sugary drink so if she were to have two it'd be 20 grams so she would have to probably only eat one since she's diabetic and only has 140 calories and i'm just very excited to have her um try these well i think she's already tried these actually but i'm excited for her
because I like getting her I like getting people's stuff if it makes them happy it makes me happy okay so I'm going to put all this away and then I'm going to show you the crafting items I got and then that'll be the, the, the whole haul but I'm very happy with this haul and you cannot believe some of the crafting finds I found and what I'm planning to do with them so give me one second because it's just gonna be a one second jump and this desk will be clean in a in just one snap of a finger so one two three how lovely okay so back I am I am back <laughs> I'm speaking backwards okay so I am actually pretty excited to show you what I have found I've mentioned this like four times already but okay so there's like two repeat items but okay you find I found these waxed basket liners I have a friend on TikTok who oops I have a friend on TikTok who uses waxed paper in her crafts and I am very excited to give it a little spin in my craft so I just got one each page each sheet it says it's 15 by 18 so it's huge and there's 14 sheets so that should be plenty and if i honestly need more i can go back i might get one more pack just to keep but i'm very happy with this fine so i have that second item i found i'm just gonna grab it because it's a large item was this two pack of calendars as you know when it's near mid-year calendars start to come out because of back to school so I think that these calendars they were trying to get rid of actually from the beginning of the year and they just have them. So I just happened to found this one, but they do have a stack. So I would have to go back and see if they have another one because I would like another one. And it's this Blossoms calendar that comes with a mini butterfly calendar. So this butterfly one, you bet I'm going to be using it in my junk journaling. Perfect size. I am so excited to use it and speaking about something else i'm going to be using in my crafts it's actually i found two packs let me grab it I'm not making a mess okay i found these two packs of file folders the first one was this like ombre file folder honestly i'm in love three of them come and uh, if you guys have no heard I'm going to be starting a file folder series, so I do. I did want it. Uh, I did want some file folders that already have patterns to just embellish, you know, like do do the edges and just put something in the middle and already have a pattern. But this one, I am so excited. I might actually keep one if I want to redo a rainbow junk journal. I might go back and just get them. It's this rainbow file folder three pack as well i am honestly in love i am so excited to be using these for my crafting so stay tuned a video will be coming soon and also another new item i found i'm gonna move this aside were these washi tapes the first one was this beautiful heart honestly it gives me barbie vibes if you have seen the new movie, let me know if it's good. I have not. Um, also, this one, Barbie mood. Kind of like Malibu Barbie kind of feel. And then this one kind of gives me like strawberry picnic cottage core feel. It's like a plaid, a red plaid um, washi tape. And then lastly... This one gives me like a 90s vibe or even an 80s vibe of like the splattered paints with the neon paints. I think this is so cool. And look how much it gives you. Like honestly, these give you a good amount. They last me. The only thing is that the stickiness is not as sticky. So what I usually do is I add some of, of the crafting tape or even a little bit of glue. I I add a string of it and then I tape it on top and then I will feel more secure that it won't slide off. So let me put these right here. And this is a repeat item. I just, I, I wanted to start working on Zentangle. 
I don't know if I'll be showing it here on this channel. If it's, if it's something you would like for me to talk about and show, I'm more than happy to do so. So I found these pens. I wanted some blue and some black. So I'm still in search for the black. So I will start with these just to practice, get myself warmed up again. So I'm very excited for that. And then I found this six pack of head wraps, headbands. But I saw a girl on TikTok. I follow her account. I honestly forget her name. But if I remember, I'll add it in my channel. But um, she uses these as belly bands for uh, her junk journals. And then she adds a charm and literally the cutest thing ever. So I just got a pack. Wanted to give it a try. See if it worked for me. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But just wanted to give it a try. And maybe you guys would like to try it. And maybe it will work for you. So something I just wanted to bring up. Okay. And then... Up next, it's honestly a new item that's going to be on my desk. And that is this little recycling bin. It's adorbs. It, it opens up. I can use this for either pencils or my scraps when I'm trimming or fuzzy cutting. I'm so happy with this. I saw a video of this girl who buys doggy bags, you know, for, for picking up their poo-poo. And... I wanted to get one of those bags because apparently it fits perfectly. So I will be giving that a try and I will be probably talking about it in my editing version to see if it worked. Okay, and then the next item I found, I like to usually stock up with these and it, it is foam brushes. I got the ones that actually have the large pack this time just to see how I feel using them. We shall see. So I'll put that here. And then, I'll actually, I'll put that here. Okay. And then, next item. So, if you guys remember a few videos back, I bought a two pack of the small spray bottles. And I mentioned that you can put either some coffee, a little bit of coffee, a little bit of water to spray and stain your paper, or to put um food coloring and stain uh, mix it with water and then stain paper well they ended up breaking after repeated use not good uh for repeated use if you're just gonna spray like two three times i guess but if you need something for consistent spraying it just did not work it broke i literally had to throw away four because it just kept breaking so I just decided to go the older fashioned way of things. And I just bought a literal spray bottle. So I will be filling this up with coffee and then spraying it and then rinsing it and storing it away. And you can also add food coloring. Just because the bottle is bigger does not mean you need to fill it the whole way. You can still keep it, you know, like this full or even less because it lasts. So, like, that little spray bottle at the beginning, like, I was able to spray a lot with that just small bottle. And it took me a lot to refill it. So, I'm sure with even this, this will last you a good while. So, if you want to keep it for, like, a day or two, I would put it in the fridge if it's coffee. Because I did the mistake of leaving it out and it just became goo. Which I didn't even know that was a, a possibility. But, so yeah, if you're going to use more for, for the following day, either just rinse it out, clean it, and, and just make a, a little batch the next day. Or if you, you know, have a good amount, put it in the fridge and it should be, it should be fine. So, spray bottle. <laughs> put that here. No, put it here. Okay. And then last two items i am looking around to see if i missed anything and it looks like i did not so that is really good so okay yeah i found a collection i regret not grabbing the whole collection because your girl is broke and 
I'm just going to have to sneakily go to the store every now and then and just buy one and then one and then one and show you the new ones. So, let me show you the first one. Yeah. Composition notebooks. This is telling me that back to school is literally probably in their storage. Just waiting for, you know, people to buy the 4th of July stuff or, or to get rid of, of the graduation stuff and then they're going to put it. So, first one. And the brand is from Crown Jewels, which is a Dollar Tree brand, which is woman owned, if you would like to support them. Okay. First one. This. I'm actually going to move this so you can see the whole thing. Y'all. I'm going to give it a second of silence because what in the world is this? I literally just bought some clip art to make butterfly art for my butterfly journal. And I found this. You bet I'm going to be photocopying it and using it in my junk journal as fussy cutting and whatnot. But the fact that this is $1.25, I've seen similar ones for $6, if not more, on Amazon or Target or other stores like that. The only difference is that it doesn't have that white square that says composition notebook in the center or whatever or in the top center but okay now the second one literally they had like 10 options and i had to choose two it was the most heartbreaking thing i literally just stood there spread them all out stood there staring at them and saying this feels like picking your favorite child and i almost cried but I will be going back and getting, if they're still available, getting them. Okay. Ready? Honestly, are you ready? What? Just what? I've heard people complain about the quarter increase from Dollar Tree. But the CEO promised that there would be a quality increase. And he's probably the only businessman that has kept his word. He showed us. I do not regret spending that extra quarter for these items because not only has the quality increased, yes, some items like, for example, the spray bottles from the Crafter Square were not that good, but this spray bottle is meant for cleaning. And the way the, the handle works is meant for repeatedly um, spraying. So I know that this one's going to work a little better. This um, composition notebooks are beautiful literally it looks professionally designed uh the only complaint is that they do not have college ruled if i'm correct these are yeah these are wide ruled let me see the other one yeah i, I will go in the back and just double check to see if it says it it does not but it does look wide ruled so that's literally my only complaint but even then how can i complain I'm going to be using these composition notebooks for writing down my video ideas. Of course, one at a time, not multiple at a time. So I wanted one to write my video ideas and then one because I don't know if I mentioned this, but I struggle with ADHD and other mm, neurodivergent daily struggles. And cleaning has been rough because of my physical health, um, my mental health, and then 
just daily struggles. Um, so I bought a book. And I will be linking it in my storefront. It will be under books. The, the book section. And it is called How to Keep House While You're Drowning. And it's literally meant for people with ADHD, autism, just neurodivergent, or people who are just not in the mental mindset to be overwhelmed because they're already overwhelmed with their home so they don't want a book that's going to overwhelm them even more that's going to have 10 pages per chapter this book probably has two pages per chapter because it's meant to not overwhelm you it's meant to be simple broken down i have not started the book but i have read the preview part and she even talks about her struggle the writer i follow her on tiktok and she struggled with postpartum anxiety, which is something that's not as common, but what's more common is postpartum depression. And she talked about her struggles and how it was hard to keep her house, but she was also a psychologist. I can't remember psychologist or therapist, but when she finally figured out her system, she decided to, to write the book. And so, long story short, one of them is going to be just for me to note take and work out a plan for my home. And then the other one is going to be for junk journaling, um, videos and hauls and just plans. So that is what these two are going to be. And probably the other ones are gonna be for future ones when these are empty or I mean full, not empty. So I would like to thank Peppa Pig and George for joining us in this amazing haul also my hello kitty friends right here um they will be making probably a permanent appearance okay they are my little mascots especially during my kit videos i have even more um thingies over here let me see if i can show you let me see ignore my mess but see i have a fro two froggies a duck and a big dino duck and then this is where i have my um bags organized right now but anyways i'm just gonna take the phone down but anyways i just wanted to thank everybody for watching and until next time bye mm -hmm.